afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Anita and the Man. I'm Brian Hewitt, and welcome to our broadcast coming to you live from Los Angeles, California, as we roll out our red carpet this afternoon as we bring you the Lord's love and His Word throughout the entire world, loving and giving and sharing of what the Lord gives to us in the name of His love, from the blood of the cross to the, name, to the land of the milk and honey. Today we're going to be speaking of God's perfect love, how he wraps that around our lives with that new heart from his embrace, from the cross, to that life that he gives us, to that new breath and new time of God's endless rhyme, and don't forget through those powerful whispers of the wind from every direction of that North, south, east, and west, he pours his love into you, into you, so you can flow and grow and be a witness of his truth in Jesus' name. So before we get going into our message, let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. We we'll lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the unity, Holy Spirit, to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. We thank you for, for your love. We thank you for your truth. We thank you for your, all, all that you're doing to us, all that you're saying to us. We thank you for the new mercies of this day as we lift up prayers, repentance, and forgiveness. And we thank you for the clarity of our minds so we can give this message and receive this message. And we thank you for the lost who came to this message so they can be brought forward to your altar, O oh God, and to be saved of your love and for your love. In Jesus' matchless name, amen. Let's grab our Bibles or grab a notebook paper and a pen because we're going to be doing some tap dancing through the scriptures. Let's go to 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. That's our foundation scripture of the day. 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. And today, I'll be reading from the NIV, the New International Version. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made in perfect love. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing and hearing of this word. When we have love, then what is there to be afraid of? I don't mean the love of husband and wife, because marriage is a blessing from God. But let's, when God says for you to marry, to get to get into marriage, and you end up, your marriage ends up to be an atomic bomb, bomb God may may well be saying to you, he didn't ask you to marry that girl, it was somebody else. We have to move into God's path, God's blessing. God gives us the answers. Brethren, it is our journey, our way, for us to find the questions to those answers. Trust me, I speak from many depth of a living well of my own life and heart. Trust me. And my wife can tell you. My daughters can tell you. I, I have survived more life circumstances and experience than most people have, in, or people have lived in five different lives. But we have to go and really sink into the scriptures. And what one scripture may have said to you even last week or yesterday may have a different meaning to you today. A great example is John 3.16. We see that sign in all the ball games, especially baseball behind home plate. Over the left field wall when someone's about to hit a home run here in North America. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Sounds very easy. 
then we need to do this. We need to believe in this. We need to take that step of power that God gave us the authority to stomp on the heads of snakes and scorpions. The power to tread, the power to live, the power to breathe. There is so much hate in this world that it seems to be consuming us and slowly bringing us into its vacuum like an invisible black hole and just suffocating us and almost like a mandatory worshipping of hate. But God is not about hate. God is not about control. God is about perfect love shown and given through the grace of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ gave us grace, which gave us truth. Truth gave us grace. And then the giftings of that grace and truth and truth and grace gave us what? As you move throughout your journey, it's going to appear in your life, either at the foot of your bed, if you're a homeless man or woman, in a shelter, or on your journey, in your life, or it could be just at your kitchen stove when your kids are going crazy after you put them to bed, and you see a little treasure chest open up for you. And there, you're going to see the three rings of royalty. The ring of faith, the ring of hope, and the greatest gift of all, the ring of love. And you are to wear these rings of royalty as an example and a witness to those upon this earth until God calls you home. To be that beacon of light, what faith, hope, and love is all about. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The ring is not something of, of, that you can physically see. It is the presence of God. Love is a, is a spirit. It is part of the grace of God, the perfect gift that it gives to, gives to you, lays in front of you. Now, take it. Love it. Eat it, drink it, nourish it. And move into this time, God's endless term of his love, and bring to it God's new truth. God's new heartbeat. God's new moment. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer who I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. For you, for Evangelist Anita. Yet in any of our deepest sin, mine, anyone, We, God has always been there for us. No matter what direction we turned in, no matter how, who was controlling that dance, whether it was a drug dealer, a bartender, or see all of the above, whatever direction we turned, God was always there. Amen. But it was you and I in our deepest darkness of sin that turned our back to God. Now, it's time to get very, very, very personal to each and every one of us here today in today's world. It's time to slow dance with Jesus. It's time to bring ourselves into the arms of Christ and let God take the lead. To let our footprints and our walk and our journey be God's footprints and journey. 
So let our tune be God's tune. To what we have seen to be what God is going to bring to us of what? The now faith. Do we have plans for the future? They're God's plans. Do we have do we have moments that we have to plan for the, our children? Yes. Do we have building blocks for them? Do we have building blocks for the grandchildren? Yes. But lift them up to God. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 and 5. But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love which with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved. You have been saved by grace. You are beginning a new journey, whether you are a newbie in Christ, or you've been with Christ for over 30 years. But we're not, God does not play the numbers game. I think, I remember seeing Creflo Dollar preach not too long ago. My wife and I were being blessed by a sermon that he expressed in his sermon through the power of the Lord Jesus, saying that the devil's going to be fooled. I mean, you're going to see Uncle Earl, who's been, you know, dead for 30 years, being rose and gone to heaven, and, and nobody really remembers if he went to church or not. But at that last moment of his life, he turned his life over to God. He turned his life with Jesus. We come into the manifestation of the Lord Jesus Christ for a healing of our past. It does not last in the measurement which has no measure when it comes to the now faith. Because God did, God does not speak of remember when you were getting stoned at happy hour? God does not bring that up. God does not talk about when you were the crack man selling drugs at the Compton Blue Line. But those who do are the ones that tap you on the shoulder. Or, or some preacher boy using his small church as a money laundering operation. God does not do that. But people will. It's time to move on. It's time to go on. And it's time to be into that life, into that love. First John chapter 4, 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. And anyone who does not Love does not know God because God is love. The importance of love. The importance of, of expressing the newness of the written, richness of the new day. The new day is now, brethren. The new day comes when all of us Sing that song of what do I go from here? Turn it to God. Let God take it. Let God, we just have the trust in God. And now everything is going to happen overnight. You have the shield of protection that God has given you. And God is going to make that happen because he loves you.
there's a Keras view, and this is going to happen right now. Beloved, Jesus loves you. And we are going to sing loud and clear for this new time, for this new love. I remember many events in the womb of times that did transgress every bit of authority of all the experiences from my past and the tribulations that each and every one came to one after another, every rainstorm, every snowstorm, every windstorm, every ice storm. Some of those storms were, were not even in a, a, a nature of storms. But the, God blended them together and turned me into the man that he has always wants me to be. God sings to us his love at all times. And God wants us one by one, two coming to his love, coming to his truth, coming to his to his own whispers of his wind. We're gonna do this. But we don't want to wait until tomorrow. Brethren, you hear my wife do this with the excellency of royalty. And let me share with, with you this on this night this morning, wherever you are. If you've never been loved, you're loved by Anita and the man yours truly, Brother Brian Sheila. But the greater love is this. If you want to feel the most powerful love and you've never known Christ, now is the time to fall to your knees to come forward with Christ and let me just read from Romans chapter 10 10 through 13 and before we do that Anita and I want you to get into a faith based believing church midweek Bible studies Sunday services and to fellowship with the fellowship of the saints and if you need a Bible Contact us over our website at brianchewitt.com and let us know if you watch this service as well over our contact link. And, and there you'll see our, also our donation link as well as our contact link as well. Romans 10, verses 10 through 13. But with the heart of man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. But the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For, for there is no difference be, between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Brethren, do your best to repeat this after me. Dear Lord, I know I am a sinner. 
I walk up to your altar of, of you, O oh Lord, this night, this afternoon, this morning, and I fall to my knees, and I turn my life over to you, O oh Lord. Take me, love me, I'm yours. Put me upon your whispers of the wind. And yes, I want to slow dance with you now, Jesus, and you take the lead of my life. You take my breath, you take my words, you take my mindset. You take away all the drugs, you take away all the alcohol, you take away all the gambling. And make me the regeneration of, the, of you, O oh God. Make me into that light of the Lord. Make me into that beacon of you, O oh Lord. For you, God, are the Savior of Saviors. In Jesus' name, amen. As my wife prays in your name in the background, I am praising your name, but most important, if, if you came forward, that's that choir you're hearing is not anything that, that's in our background, but that's the angels of heaven singing your name before the throne of God. Brethren, this is your day. Like when I did this, a day you won't forget. And when Anita did this, she she has never forgotten. Come right now into this day, another day. In Jesus' marches name. The power that we have. The power that we share power that we're going to give right now is he cares for us and God's love gives us a thorough thankfulness Colossians chapter 2 6 and 7 therefore as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord so walk in him having been firmly rooted and now and now being built up in him and established in your faith just as you were instructed and overflowing with gratitude that was colossians chapter 2 6 and 7. you are overflowing with god's gratitude not the ways of man's gratitude not the games not their stalking you shouldn't care about that. You have your life. You have your way. You have your own time. Your own love. And what you have is a kingdom. A kingdom of heaven that cannot be shaken. Hebrews 12, 28 and 29. God, that's beautiful. You have a kingdom that cannot be shed. Hebrews 12, 20 and 29. Therefore, since we receive a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us show gratitude by which we may offer to God an acceptable service with reverence and awe for God is our consuming fire. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. To be consumed with the fire of his love that perfect love to be consumed with the fire of his scriptural truth to be consumed by all that we do, all that we say, all that we're going to express. For the marches name of Jesus, that we come and give and share and love to go into each and everyone, a time, a time to give, but a time to stop giving to the wrong gods of our addiction, a time to see not only of whom we once were, 
But what God is going to make us into, starting now, with an all faith, that perfect love has brought you to God's potter's room. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you. You're the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the unity, Holy Spirit, to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. We love you. We thank you. We thank you for this perfect love that you've laid down before us today. We thank you of this day and for this day. We thank you for the anointing of the appointed and anointed one, Evangelist Anita Hewitt. We thank you for her strength. We thank you for her powerful words. We thank you for all of this ministry and all that is flowing throughout the 140 countries that you have confirmed that go that flow this message into. And we thank you, Lord, of all that you do and all the, and all the manifestation of the healing that you brought into my body, myself, my mind. And you have done this and, and brought each of us, each of us through this time and of this time. In the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. My brethren, we love you in the name of the Lord. Do visit us at BrianChua.com. And yes, uh, we invite you back once again. And we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, adios, good day. What the